Hello everyone. By now we have finished some part on basic part on topic relations and few examples we have taken. So I think one more session of illustrations is required. So let us take some more problems. First problem is that for any two real numbers theta and phi, theta is related to phi if and only if sec square theta minus tan square phi equal to 1. And then we have four options regarding relation R. When you look at the problem, it is now in terms of second tan. So basic trigonometry, if you know, I think you can handle this question. So let us start. And all the four options are regarding reflexive, symmetric, transitive or equivalence. So recall what we have done in that particular session. I hope everyone knows when do we say reflexive if A related to A. When do we say symmetric if A related to B implies B related to A. And third one was transitive. What was that? A related to B, B related to C. This if implies A related to C, then we have relation transitive. And if all three things are happening, then we call it equivalence. Same exercise we will be applying here. So for reflexive, we have to check if theta is related to theta. Means I will have to replace phi by theta. And what will I have? Sec square theta minus tan square theta. And it is 1. And in the condition also it is given to be 1. So obviously we will get 1 equal to 1 kind of thing. That means we realize that theta is related to theta. And we have not taken any particular value of theta. It happens for every theta, obviously. So we realize that R is reflexive. Then if I have to check whether it is symmetric, what we check? That if theta is related to phi, and if it leads to, means implies, phi is related to theta, then relation would be called symmetric. So what we'll have to do? That we start with theta related to phi. That means given equation itself, sec square theta minus tan square phi equal to 1. What we have to do? We have to actually arrive. I mean, keep that mental journey in your mind. That we have to arrive at sec square phi minus tan square theta equal to 1. So best is that you replace sec square theta by 1 plus tan square theta and write tan square phi as sec square phi minus 1. Usual trigonometry. And simplify it. What do you get? Sec square phi minus tan square theta equal to 1. That means the desired equation. Does that not lead to phi related to theta? Yes. That means we started with theta related to phi and we arrived at phi, phi related to theta. Means relation is symmetric. Now let us move to next. We will check if it is transitive also. For that what I will have to do? I will have to take three numbers. Theta, phi and say gamma. If theta is related to phi, phi related to gamma, it leads to theta related to gamma, then I will say that relation is transitive. Means I will have to write two equations. One for theta related to phi and next would be for phi related to gamma. And I have sec square theta minus tan square phi equal to 1 and the other one would be sec square phi minus tan square gamma equal to 1. I simplify the second one. What I will do? I will write that sec square phi as 1 plus tan square phi and then I simplify it further which leads to sec square theta minus tan square gamma equal to 1 and compare it with the given equation sec square theta minus tan square phi equal to 1. There we said theta related to phi. So will we not say theta related to gamma? Yes. Means this is the desired result. So we understand that relation R is transitive. See what has happened. Relation is reflexive. Relation is symmetric. Relation is transitive also. Means it is an equivalence relation. So my correct option is B. I mean, please do not jump on the conclusion without working. Write, scribble those small looking things also. And then make sure that what you are saying, you should be confident of it. And then conclude. Let us move to next. The next one is, R is a relation of on the set A of ordered pairs of positive rational numbers and how that relation is described. Mind you please, now element is given in the form of ordered pairs and I have written ordered pair x comma y related to ordered pair u comma v if x upon u equal to y upon v. This is how relation R is described. It looks little complicated but please deal with all patience. Again, all four options are regarding reflexive, symmetric, etc. We will try one by one. First thing is, if I have to check, is it reflexive? I should be able to show pair x comma y is related to itself. 
means what I will have to do? I will have to replace that u by x and v by y. And what do I get? It is nothing but 1 equal to 1 kind of thing. So, relation is nothing but reflexive. Now, if I have to check, is relation symmetric? What I will have to see? x comma y related to u comma v. This must lead us to u comma v related to x comma y. So, what do we mean by x comma y related to u comma v? It should be nothing but x upon u equal to y upon v, like given relation. Now, can't I write that x upon u equal to y upon v? Take reciprocals on both sides. As I write u upon x equal to v upon y. And will this not lead to pair u comma v related to x comma y? This is what we wanted. That means relation is symmetric. Now let us try transitive. Now for transitive what we will have to do? We will have to take three pairs. x comma y, u comma v, a comma v. x comma y related to u comma v would be my assumption. u comma v related to a comma v would be my assumption. And result what we expect? That pair x comma y should be related to a comma b. If that happens, then relation is transitive. So, we will have to write those at least first two assumptions. That x comma y related to u comma v and u comma v related to a comma b in the given equation form. And I get x upon u equal to y upon v and the second one would be u upon a equal to v upon b. And then multiply, that is the best thing to get relation between x, y and a, b. So, I get x upon a equal to y upon b. Does that not say that x comma y is related to a comma b? Means what? We have arrived at the result that relation is transitive also. So, relation is reflexive, relation is symmetric and result is transitive. Means what? Relation is equivalence. So, correct option is A. I hope everyone understood what we have done. I mean, please do not do haphazardly. Do step by step and arrive at the conclusion. Let us take third one. Relation R is given in terms of ordered pairs. And set A is described as 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, relation R is, and I am given four options in terms of reflexive, transitive, symmetric, etc. Like previous questions, please try step by step. Set A is given to me. Set R is given to me in terms of some ordered pairs. Now question, if I have to check, Question is regarding four options, reflexive, etc. My first choice could be, is it reflexive? For reflexive, what I will have to check? That, does that relation have pair like 1, 1 or 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4? If such pairs appear, then relation would be reflexive one. And we find that 1, 1 does not belong. One example is sufficient to say it is not reflexive. Mind you, please, when you have to say it is reflexive, you have to check with every element. But here it is not required. The moment you see the relation, you know that it is, that relation does not contain 1, 1. In fact, it does not contain 2, 2, etc. also. So, surely, relation is not reflexive. Is relation transitive? Because second option is regarding transitive. For transitive, what I will have to do? I will have to take two pairs, like say 1, 3 and 3, 1. And I observe that 1, 1 is not in the set. Means what? Relation is not transitive. Now, third option is regarding symmetric. Is relation symmetric? How will I have to check? That I will have to take, suppose, some A, comma B. Then I will have to see if B, comma A is also in the set. I realize that 2, comma 3 is there in the set. But 3, comma 2 is not. Means what? That relation is not symmetric. Mind you, please, if relation was symmetric, then perhaps I would have checked equivalence or not. Right? I mean, assuming that if first two conditions were true, that relation is reflexive and relation is transitive. But here, relation is not reflexive, not transitive, has already told us that relation is not going to be the last option, equivalence relation. So, the only option actually by default only was not symmetric, but I have shown that one example would be sufficient to say that relation is not symmetric. So, these three examples, I hope, will give you more clarity that how do we solve questions regarding equivalence relation, reflexive or transitive or symmetric. Stay tuned till I come with the new topic. Till then, bye.